Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon was at today's event in New York City. What does she think about what Governor Chris Christie said? The governor from Oklahoma joins us. Good evening. Good evening, Greta. So uh, what are your thoughts today about uh, what Governor uh, Chris Christie was saying? Well, one of the things I admire about Governor Christie is he always speaks his mind. You know exactly where he stands on issues. I think that's why a lot of people find him a very intriguing governor. And I, I appreciate what he was talking about. Today we were at a, a Bush Institute summit talking about economic policy, what states are doing to grow their economies. And I think Governor Christie was expressing a general sense that we've got to get our economy back on track. We've got to reduce our federal spending, the, the bloated government that we have in Washington, D.C., and what states are trying to do to grow economies and get Americans back to work. And there's no doubt that there are Americans that are struggling, that are looking for jobs. There's no doubt that entitlement spending is, is out of control in our nation. And, of course, we are bankrupting our nation with a huge amount of debt and deficit that we have. And so those are some of the policies we were talking about, and he was expressing it in a different way. One of the things he said today, in part, was that he's now seen a less optimistic period in the country in his lifetime. And I'm curious, uh, I mean, I hear Republicans say we've got to get rid of regulations, we've got to cut uh, taxes, uh, cut spending. I mean, I hear all that, but, I mean, beyond that sort of usual comments, how do you... It's, how do you get that optimism back? I mean, how do you how do you provoke it? Well, I think Americans are very concerned about our debt, our deficit. Those who are long-term unemployed in our nation, they do get frustrated about the uncertainty in in federal rules, regulations, uh, the uh, and and willingness to work together in Washington, D.C. And so what we were talking about at this particular summit was how individual states and governors are doing things to create a more vibrant economy, creating jobs, how states and governors are actually cutting spending, how we're actually talking about lowering our income tax rate. In the state of Oklahoma, we have, have a proposal to significantly reduce our income tax, and there are actually 12 other states are looking at reducing their income taxes and, and their taxes in their states, and we're creating jobs, and we're creating more vibrant economies. Well, I noticed that the, I mean, the unemployment rate nationwide is about 8.1 percent or something, and I, I did some research, um, February 2012, Oklahoma, you're down at 6.0. That's, you know, that's, that's, that's very low, and, you, and, you look, and your numbers have been, you know, for the last two years have been good numbers. I mean, we're, we're envious of Oklahoma. Is there something peculiar about your economic structure, about what you produce in Oklahoma, or why, are you, why is your state below the national average unemployment? Well, I don't think it's peculiar. I think we're just implementing the right policies in our state. We closed a budget deficit last year, a $500 million budget gap. We reduced spending in the state of Oklahoma. We right-sized state government. We actually cut our income tax last year. We also enacted lawsuit reform, major education reform. We reduced our workers' compensation costs. We reduced unfunded liabilities in our pension systems. We're just doing the right things. And when you do the right things in your state governments, you grow your economy, you attract new businesses. In fact, we have the third best job-creating market in the United States. Our uh, personal per capita income grew at 6.2%, which is beating the national average. And we have a migration of people actually moving to the state of Oklahoma. And one of the things we're trying to do, unlike Washington, is that we're, we're trying to set policies in our state that gives some resemblance of certainty in the marketplace. And, of course, it's hard to have certainty in a marketplace when you have so much uncertainty in Washington, D.C., but I can at least do what I can do in the state of Oklahoma to create a better business environment, to create a stronger educated workforce, and to do the things I need to do to right-size state government. All right. Now, if you uh, uh play my little voodoo game of, of guess who are politics. I'm, I'm curious, uh, you know, we're all sort of guessing about if Governor Romney does get the nomination, looks like is who would be a good choice for him. I'm curious, could you see a, a vice presidential candidate in Governor Chris Christie? Well, I think Governor Chris Christie is certainly a very attractive governor. He has taken on some very tough battles in his state. He is plain spoken. People admire that. You know, they don't want people to sugarcoat things. They want people to tell the truth, tell it exactly like it is, and, and that's what he does. Uh, I appreciate that, and of course he's, he's helped to right-size government in his state. He's talked about reducing taxes. He's taken on some tough battles in education reform, and those are battles that the American people uh, appreciate. You know, someone that's willing to get in there, talk about solutions to problems, and willing to uh, not only talk the talk, but walk the walk and do the things that need to be done. All right. How about uh, Speaker Gingrich? Uh, should he continue to stay in the campaign and uh, and make an, an engaging discussion in the Republican Party, or should he get out? 
Well, Speaker Gingrich certainly does uh, does engage the public in many different issues. He's one of the, the best ideas guy, idea guys that we have in our nation. He uh, is certainly helping to lead the debate on many, many issues, and I have a great appreciation for what he does. But, you know, to me, it looks like Romney certainly has a strong lead right now, especially with Governor, with uh, Senator Santorum getting out of the race, too, and he's certainly got a, a large amount of delegates, and so I think uh, Speaker Gingrich will probably stay in for a while. He's going to help shape the debate on issues that are important to our nation, and uh, we'll just see where it goes from here. Governor, thank you.